This is Twit. On we go to line two. Mike Tiburon, California. Hi, Mike. Hi, Leo. Thanks uh, for taking my call. Thanks Listen for to you all the time. Enjoy it a lot. I'm going to uh, China. And I have a uh, sprint, and I want to know how's the best way to do number one messaging, and number two, how can I receive email, a uh, Gmail, if that's at all possible? Yeah. So the first thing you want to do is find out what services are currently blocked by the Great Firewall of China because it changes. In fact, I remember uh -huh. going to China a few years ago. Uh, Facebook and Twitter were open at the time. Then they had the Ouija Rebellion, and all of a sudden, I couldn't access Facebook or Twitter. So Wikipedia has a great page called Websites Blocked in Mainland China. Gmail, of course, is blocked. So you won't be able to just go to gmail.com. The Great Firewall of China will say, I actually don't know what happens. I just It just won't work, I guess. Um that that makes for you know some tricky the way I got around sharing social sharing was I set up an account to social share via email but Gmail wasn't blocked at the time so yeah. now you might want to look at uh, creating an alternative email address that goes to your Gmail for instance Yahoo Mail is still not blocked for some reason um, so you could, what you could do is create a Yahoo free Yahoo Mail account, have Gmail fetch the mail, or have it send Gmail. Connect the two so that when you send something from China via Yahoo, it goes, you know, to your Gmail account. That kind of thing. You're going to have to do some work around. So the first thing to do is go to the. It's literally called websites blocked in mainland China Wikipedia page. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Shadow socks. Yeah, where where are you going? Uh, uh, to um, uh, Beijing and uh, oh. Shanghai, the usual place. You going for business or for pleasure? No, pleasure. Have you been before? First time. I've wanted to go and oh. finally get a chance to spend a couple weeks. I'm there. so jealous. I was just talking to my wife saying I want to go back to China. I went in 2009 with my son. It was the most amazing place I've ever been. Just, Can't wait. Just loved it. So they're very, uh, they've become much more aggressive in blocking, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm sad to say that Gmail and Google in general are blocked. That's because Google, remember, was unhappy with China's human rights policies and pulled out of China. Mm -hmm. So you can go to Google. You can use maps.google.cn, for instance. That's not blocked anymore. They were blocking that. Um, Google Translate is not blocked, but you have to go to Google.cn. And that, I think CN for Google is probably Hong Kong, not mainland China. Um, but you can't go to google.com. You can't, I mean, all of that stuff, YouTube, Facebook, all blocked. Right. Um, but you, it looks like you can. Again, have you ever heard of the shadow socks, which is supposed to be a, don't, a VPN? Which let me, will, let me tell you about that. You can yeah. do it. Don't. Yeah. I'll tell you for a couple of reasons. There's the, the, the purely ethical reason that you're in the country and, and you shouldn't be trying to end around the country's loss. There's also yeah. the very practical reason that you could get arrested. Oh. I don't think you want to get arrested. No. <laughs> so. Well, that, that's good advice because uh, one of the sites that I visited online said that shadow socks work. And, and of course really I works. wanted to know if I was exposing myself to hacking or anything yeah. else. No, you're like exposing yourself to the authorities. So, yeah, you can use a VPN. In fact, the elites in China, you know, it's funny. China is a very interesting country. You're going to find this fascinating. They allow a lot of freedom to the elites. But they don't, they're very nervous about the rank and file becoming dissatisfied. So they do, it's illegal to use a VPN. They turn, the, uh, they turn a, a blind eye, I think, to the elites. However... I wouldn't push it <laughs> if I were you. Worth it. Yeah, why bother? And besides, um, you're in China. You you don't you know if, if it's illegal to spit on the sidewalk, you don't want to do it, whether it's yeah. you're going to get arrested or not. You want to be in. Uh, I th it's my opinion. You want to be respectful of their laws. Uh, not to mention that you, if you're in a Chinese jail, that's not a good thing. No. <laughs> So no, I, I do want to be respectful. Yeah, be respectful. Lawsuit. You'll see. So there, there. If you look at this site, you'll see there are things you can use, and you just figure out what it is that you can use uh, that uh, will allow you to do some of the things you want to do. Most VPNs, by the way, are blocked. 
Uh, but even if it's even if they haven't yet blocked it, you they can tell when you're on a VPN. Yeah. So do you want to use that? I don't know. <laughs> I spend my time uh, visiting the beautiful sites of China rather than spending yeah. time in the book. You know, that's what I would Great. do. Take it. Take advantage. You know what? You may you may decide. Hey, it's kind of nice not to be connected. <laughs> I used I this service is no longer around, but I use a service called Posterous that let you email pictures that they would then post on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, and that was a way around right. it. That I did I felt like that's okay. I'm emailing it back to the states where it's being posted from the states. I didn't find that to I, I didn't think that was on inappropriate. But uh, you have to. Decide. Well, thanks for taking my call. My pleasure. Thanks for calling. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye.